You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang. RiceGangClothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. I know a lot of y'all have been asking about the sweaters. Yes, the sweaters are back. The red ones. I got some blue ones. I got some black. I got some gray. Get them while they're there. Um, RiceGangClothing.com for the merchandise. You know what I'm saying? When they sell out, they sell out. I get them back every now and then, but you know how it goes. Um... I want to talk about a couple things today. First and foremost, salute to every single one of y'all that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. Salute to everybody that watched the blog about Dot. Stop disrespecting. Um, New Jersey twerk versus drugs dropped on a band battle. Um, you know they friends and shit, so I ain't really get no. I ain't want to get no notes and all of that because I knew it was gonna go kind of how it was gonna go. And this is just for. The people who don't have the app, you know, I know y'all still be wanting to know how the battles went and all of that. So I feel, and I feel like, by the fly, gonna recap this. I feel like it. So I, I give y'all the recap, you know what I'm saying? New Jersey's work is coming back from his road, you know what I'm saying, to recovery. He had gotten into a car accident and shit like that. He had had some ups and some downs, and you know what I mean? I I, I respect what he's doing as far as with his music. Um, He had the battle with Jada Nightwing. And, you know, now he's got a battle with drugs that was like a band battle or whatever the case may be with no crowd and shit. And I respect anybody who's trying to get their shit together, you know what I'm saying? Like, I never had to, we don't, we, our relationship be like this, you know what I'm saying? I know we fuck with each other, I know we don't. And it, the thing is, I, I mean, at the time, now we follow each other on Instagram and shit like that. I don't got no issue with him, you know what I mean? But the thing is, our issue is always over some battle rap shit. Like I will call it like I call it like if you recycled or if you jersey. That's all it was. It was never it's never an issue personally. Like I don't be knowing these niggas personally, like the battle a lot of these battle rap niggas. I just call it like I call it so I don't spoil it in order to be a butt. You gotta be honest. Salute to the Nets with their three all-stars too. Y'all niggas know what's up with that. We ain't gonna do that. But uh it's it always be some battle rap shit. Like I, I call it battle. Or I say battle won or battle lost or whatever the case may be. And he never, he didn't feel that, you know what I'm saying? But it's all good, though. you know, we, we, we move it towards positive energy. So this battle with drugs happens, and I know there's a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to try to be as positive as possible, because I know drugs jumps online and gets emotional about shit, too. Um, I'm going to try to be as positive as possible about this one. Uh, I know URL has been trying to push drugs. We need a D.A.R.E. program. They keep, they're trying to push drugs on us and he keeps getting battles and I know there's people that's like, why the fuck does he get booked? Why the fuck does he get, look. So, I had a conversation with somebody you are and I asked the same question because it's the questions that the fans be wanting to know. Um, he prepares quick. You know, that's what one of the reasons was. He prepares quick, he does good business and he's gonna at least try, you know what I'm saying? So, he's, you're gonna see him around, period. Whether you like to see him or not, you're gonna see him around. Um, to me, this is my honest assessment. While in some battles he has done better, I just think the level of competition on URL is too high. You know what I'm saying? It's like different players in college. It's like basketball. Like Adam Morrison was a killer in college, right? Gets to the NBA. The level of competition is too fucking high for him. Jimmer Fredette was dropping 60, 55, killing niggas in college. Got to the NBA and can never stay with an NBA team. Was drafted with a lottery pick. Matter of fact, the Minnesota, um, no, Milwaukee Bucks traded their draft pick to trade. Sacramento traded up to get him because they thought he was such a force. Got to the NBA and the level of competition was too high. You know what I'm saying? And I just think that on URL, on the app, they got drugs that like one win, ten losses, or whatever the case may be. And I'm doing this without hating. This is basically stats, you know what I'm saying? Regardless of how he would feel about me, I really don't give a fuck. This is about battle rap. Um, I just think the level of competition is too high, you know what I'm saying? And I don't think there's any viable battle rapper that he could face that he's gonna beat on URL. It's just, I, I just don't think it's gonna happen. And that's just my personal opinion. He doesn't have to like it, I really don't care. Um, him and Twerk, uh, I checked the numbers, it's already Twerk is up like 200 to 20 or some shit like that. Uh, the third round, First round, uh, you know, Drugs had a, a, a serviceable round. Twerk's first round, he had some fire in there. Uh, he started going at him, uh, attacking him about the kids, the drug, drug, the drug, drug, get drugs out of their system and shit like that. He had some shit like that, shit like that, shit like that. Uh, drugs second round, uh, I had Twerk winning the first round, clearly. Drugs second round, he starts attacking Twerk about, you know, fucking no. Drugs was attacking uh, Twerk about the Goonies shit, 
not defending them when um and then when you talking about him leaving to go to the fucking um NWX shit, you know what I'm saying? He was using targeted angles at him, but twerk shit was just twerk shit. Um twerk second round, he he starts bombing on drugs again. Uh you know, he had, he had some he had some heat. I'm not going to hold you. He he was and I think it's more of a warm up to get twerk legs back under him, you know what I'm saying? Like after being out for fucking almost a year, he's going to be getting just random battles thrown at him. Who knows? This nigga might battle Jack next week and shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't fucking know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how these niggas run this shit. And I think they're just trying to get content on the app because, speaking of the app, I don't know what these niggas was dropping recently, man. Some of these battles that pop up, I just be exiting out the motherfucking app. Then I, I, and I'm going to talk to y'all about that Crucible shit at the end, son. There's some nigga on that. Yo, I, we talk about it at the end. Um, so, drug second round. He starts talking about twerk, uh, fucking him in his battles and shit like that. Uh, he had one one line that I definitely thought was dope. He said something about you have more jerseys than Oregon. I thought that was fire because Oregon's jersey package be fucking crazy. Them niggas got every single colored jersey that you could think of. Their court be all types of different colors and shit. I thought that line was good. But the thing is, it's just too far in between. Like you can't. Like you'll have one line like that, then it'd be like 16 bars or like some other shit. And, and the thing is, I have been able to, if I don't like a nigga or if a nigga don't like me or we don't get along, I can still recap they battle because it's basically based off of the bars and whether a nigga's snapping or whether a nigga's winning. You know what I'm saying? So that's all that matters. Everything else is, 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 it is subject to what it is. But I had twerk winning the first two rounds. Third round was a compliment round. Uh, they, it was like on some king, of, almost like some king of the dot shit. Like you're a great dad. You have all the things I never had. Your son should have been named Chad, and his brother should have been named Brad. You're not a fool. You could have went to a good school. You was always with me when it was time to pop out. You was there to pick me up when I got knocked out. I mean, you was always ready. You helped me make spaghetti. You could have went far. You helped me write my bars. You helped me remember them when I couldn't remember. Remember that time in September that was right before this? It was just some shit like that. Like, literally just some freestyle shit. And, uh, you know, it was what it was. Um, I respect Twerk for giving New Jersey, I mean, Twerk for giving drugs that opportunity because, you know, he can get some clout off the name. But to me, even in the rounds where they were actually, like, rapping, rapping, Twerk was just, it was just practice. You know what I'm saying? Like, screw like a practice, just like a like a practice scrimmage type shit, you know what I'm saying? That's why I didn't write nothing down. I'm like, this is some friendly shit. I'm not about to sit here and do all of this breaking down and breaking down and breaking down and all this other shit, you know what I'm saying? URL, I'm almost on some, what are y'all doing here? What are, get your mans. Um, Like I said, I know, uh, uh, and the thing is, with the battle rappers, the ones that win their battles never have no complaints about the recap. Never go online saying F Showtime SP, F me, fuck the Knicks, fuck the Jets, fuck the Rangers, fuck the Mets, fuck the Yankees, fuck the Giants, fuck Kobe, like all of that. They never, the ones that, they never they never do that. It's just the ones that lose, you know what I'm saying? When niggas get smoked, they get mad. When it's ain't well and we got to mail them to L, they, they hate that shit, you know what I'm saying? So, um, anyway, uh, twerk, 2-0, third round was on some compliment shit. Uh, yeah, before I get out of here, bro. There was some nigga on, <laughs> yo, I'm going to go find this shit, bro. Fuck this, yo. I, I, yo, there was some nigga yesterday. I was watching. I be turning on the Crucible and shit, you know what I'm saying? I really do. I be like, yo, I'm going to give some of these niggas a chance, you know what I'm saying? Because I know that if somebody does good and I talk about them on this kind of channel or whatever the case may be, you know what I'm saying? It could get them, you know, some views and get them a little clout on their name, bro. It was some nigga. I don't even know this nigga name, son. Yo, oh, I got it right here. Son, this nigga choked before he even rapped a bar, son. I've never seen no shit like this in my life, son. Yo, what? Get your mans! Yo, this shit is crazy, son. This nigga said, I said. I said. You said what? Tell me what you said, my nigga. This shit's crazy, son. Nah, son. You couldn't say I hop out with the black strap, the black mat, hit his back, back, the rap, rap, the nigga, what? Son, imagine having 
$10,000 and an opportunity to rap in front of Smack and be on URL in front of you, son. This nigga didn't get one word out. Bro, what the fuck? Oh my God, son. Yo, you're bugging. Yo, you're bugging. Mail this nigga the L. Bro, this nigga didn't even rap a word, son. This nigga said, yo, yo, yo. And I get it. I think his, his thing is that he, he rapped rounds, but that's the part that they put out. See, I'm going to explain something to you niggas real quick. You new niggas. Let me explain something to y'all. When you sign up to be on the app or the battle rap, you get put out what they put out, my nigga. You don't get to choose what they put out. They're going to put out the absolute worst shit because they know that it's going to drive content. It's going to drive people to speak and people are going to talk about it. You don't get to pick and choose what material you're going to put out. That's why you come with three rounds. If you come with three rounds, guess what? Whatever they put out is going to be wavy, baby. It's going to be groovy, smoothy. But that shit... Yo, son. Oh, my God, yo. Like, why would you... This nigga had nothing, son. The nigga had nothing. And, and you, you explaining yourself, don't, it's not going to help because we saw what we saw. Period, my Gs. Get that shit together. Yo. <sighs> What you want me to say? Huh? What you want me to say? <laughs> oh, man. Woo! It bees with a bite. <laughs> I got nice teeth in the light. I'm out.